Hello, how are you doing on this fine day today? This is AppleAndApps.com and we have a new speed test for the iPhone 4S with the new A5 chip just to see how the performance improvements actually are in real testing. Now we're going head-to-head -head iPhone 4S versus iPod Touch 4th generation which has the A4 chip which is the same as the iPhone 4. So this is like an iPhone 4 versus 4S test. And the real difference between the iPod Touch and the iPhone 4 is the memory. So we're going to clear out the multitasking bar every time so our tests aren't relying upon the memory. So we're going to start out with Shadowgun, which is the most impressive, the most visually impressive game in the App Store. And hopefully you can tell from the video, well obviously the iPhone 4S launches faster, it's the white one at the bottom, but also just the detail in the textures of the environment. The A5 chip on the 4S is up to two times faster and seven times better graphics performance than the A4 chip on the iPhone 4 and iPod Touch 4. And this also comes with rendering just everyday tests. You saw the game at the beginning, but now just using the regular stock apps on your iPhone, you can see how much quicker everything loads up and how much quicker you can get things done on the 4S. It's not groundbreaking, but it's definitely nice to see, and this helps you decide if you have an iPhone 4 what would be the differences along with the camera in Surrey, obviously. The iPhone 4S features the same A5 chip as the iPad 2, and we also have an iPad 2, and going head-to-head -head with the 4S and the iPad 2, you can see how they brought the power of the iPad 2 to the 3.5-inch screen of the iPhone. It's really quite impressive. The iPhone 4 isn't a slouch, but it definitely looks somewhat archaic next to the A5 chip on the 4S and the iPad 2. The differences are similar to the iPad 2's A5 performance over the iPad 1's A4 performance that we saw back in March. Now we'll launch up the very visually impressive Infinity Blade for the Unreal Engine. And this is also another instance where you can see the texture enhancements. There's the obvious load times as you can start playing Infinity Blade on the iPad 2 or the iPhone 4S and it still isn't even ready to go on the A4 chip. The A5 versus A4 battle, whether it's iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch, it comes down to being a dual-core processor versus a single-core. And it's kind of overkill for a phone, but it really makes using a phone as snappy as can be. The apps almost launch as soon as you touch them, and the load times are less and less, which is great for mobile doing anything mobile. Now, it's pretty tough to play three games at once, so we'll die really quick in all three. But you, you can definitely see how smooth it is on the iPad 2 and iPhone 4S compared to the A4 powered iPod Touch. There's just everything moves with such a fluid pace. And it's also more responsive when you're interacting with it yourself, so it recognizes all of your actions. And the developers, Chair Entertainment, do have a special little mode for the iPad 2. It's a universal app, and the iPhone 4S also taps into that. Here you can see head-to-head -head just restarting the battle how long it takes for the A4 powered chip. And also, the iPhone 4S isn't rendering the same game. It's rendering a more advanced, graphically intense game, just with more advanced lighting effects and shading effects. As you can hopefully see, it's just, it's not quite as crisp on the A4 powered iPod Touch below the iPhone 4S. If you like games on your iPhone, you'll definitely appreciate the A5 chip if you're upgrading over an iPhone 4. And if you're a 3GS owner, it's like a complete new phone. It's like a whole new experience. The processor is valuable for more than just games, as it can also handle rendering pages quicker. And that's not just data speeds, that's just being able to handle the new Safari JavaScript enhancements. Now we'll show one last game, Real Racing 2, which has also been updated for iOS 5 and the iPhone 4S, and beyond the loading times, you can also just see the crisp nature once the iPod Touch loads up. Because the iPad 2 and iPhone 4S should look practically the same, just different screen sizes, and that's really what's most impressive about the iPhone. It has the power of the iPad 2 right in that little tiny package. We hope you enjoyed our video. This is appleandapps.com, and you can view our full write-up on the site. Now, the video is going to go on to show head-to-head of without the iPad 2 and hopefully again you can see the texture and lighting differences.
Notice right here how you can see the sun reflection on the 4S and it's not present in the iPod Touch.